Welcome to RC Jets USA. Today we are going to unbox this T45 Ghost Hawk from Freebie, the new jet that I ordered. As you can remember, I lost my previous jet, so I ordered this and it came within a week, which is good. In advance, I actually removed the polythene covers. Uh, so the first thing is the, the manual. So it comes with a couple of warnings about the voltage to be used for each uh, control surface and the servers and the uh, ESC and things like that. Um, so let's keep it aside for the moment. Uh, I'm just going to remove the plastic bag that came with it. Let's take the first piece out, uh, which is our main wings. So main wings comes with all the servers already attached with the rods and everything uh, and also the cable is coming out which is go to the control system uh, and nothing much to do and by the way this is not the kit like the last time I bought the PNP version so it has come basically everything already attached only thing that I have to connect is the receiver uh, uh, to all the uh, controls and and the batteries and the remote that's about it so this is the second main wing let's keep it aside somewhere here and we got the nose cone here and the tail section and also we have the rod goes into the main wing two pieces and let me take out the, the body take all the pieces out So this is the main body. So let me leave it like this. No, I can't because of the fin at the bottom. So let me open up the canopy and canopy should come with a cable, the light for the dashboard. And also uh, we have the BNC, we have the central control unit and this C5 connector and also the EDF unit already attached with the ESC you can see when I zoom in uh, it's 130 amp ESC and the EDF comes with this jet is nine blade fan and uh, 1900 kV in runner motor so I'm not sure whether you guys can remember my previous one I had 1750 kV out runner motor with 12 blade fan so now this motor is a bit powerful 1900 kV so with nine blades I'm kind of not sure which one is more powerful because with 12 blades you get more thrust with uh, 9 blades you don't get that much but with a uh, powerful motor it might spin faster uh, and maybe it's, it's, it runs faster they say this is not the version 3 it's a ground up build so they have reduced the weight and also changed the motor uh, size as well so I hope this runs faster so I was Initially planning to replace with my previous EDF unit. This is the 12 blade in runner 1750 kV motor uh, with same ESC basically 130 amp um, But I'm not going to use that. I'm going to try this out and see how, which one is better Assuming that as they claim this should be faster. I'm going to try that out and see which one go faster if this is going faster i'm going to leave it as it is uh, as a test this is a good thing to do 
Okay, let's see what are the other items we have. Uh, we have the vertical stabilizer. I already have one of them from the previous jet. We have the horizontal stabilizers, all already connected. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's glued properly. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's all glued. Let's see what else we have. We have part of the tail section that goes underneath this something that you have to glue and I don't think I have anything else other than the screws yeah so there are a couple of screws and the glue and tiny little pieces of plastic that goes to the nose yeah that's about it so it's all empty yeah nothing else so because it's the PNP version it's all already attached so I just had to uh, glue some pieces and um, test it out now guys most important thing when this arrives it comes with the attention with a note from the seller this model has a 30 day warranty uh, so what we had to do is first before we glue and attach everything together we had to check all the electronic components whether they are working so that is what I'm going to do next so in order for me to get things organized for me to get my remote receiver attached to all these components I need a little bit of space so I will rearrange my desk and come back to you guys welcome back guys I arranged the table the way that I can uh, work with the jet so what I did was uh, easily um, I connected the two rods uh, to the main winds and uh, without attaching it to the body so you, if I now do this you can see uh, the cables uh, I got it through the hall that is the place normally you take the cables in uh, and then I connected the um, receiver to all uh, aileron elevator rudder and uh, also I had to have a wire harness to make sure to connect the air brakes uh, to flaps. So that's the only different thing that I did. So basically my flaps are connected to air brakes as well. So I only use flaps uh, when I'm landing. So that for me it's okay. So I don't need uh, air brakes to deploy any other time. Um, that's the only thing that I had to do. So I use a Y cable for that. and. Uh, also, um, in this setup, there's one thing that I uh, can tell you right now. I can't check the landing gear because even though front gear is all right, my foam is actually covering the landing gear um, covers, so it won't be able to deploy. So because of that, I'm going to uh, test it later on. Uh, basically, I may have to uh, put the screws and turn upside down and do the check okay let me start uh, testing so basically I haven't glued anything I just uh, push this one it's, it's tight and against uh, the uh, horizontal stabilizers and these are just staying there it's not connected to the body just wires came in and uh, receiver all connected I removed the landing gear because I do not want to accidentally deploy that. Uh, let me connect to the battery. I use this Liperian, Liperia battery, so which is actually good. Um, um, I have been using them for a while now. Uh, just a recommendation. So let me get it connected. So I actually connected it once just to make sure everything is working. Uh, normally when you connect uh, ESC for the first time, you have to um, initialize it by uh, uh, making the throttle kind of maximum and then lower kind of thing but I didn't have to do that this time because my remote was already configured for the same jet earlier with the same kind of ESC because of that maybe it is detected it's the same configuration so it did not uh, uh, do that initializing process so let me connect this cable now the batteries yeah so it's connected Motors armed. 
I'm going, cut. I'm going to disarm the motor. Uh, see the ailerons are working, elevators are working, rudder is working. It's touching this one because it's pressing against the uh, horizontal stabilizer, so that is working. Let's check the flaps. Takeoff flaps. Landing flaps. Yeah, you can see the air brakes also deploying Take automatically. So all the control surfaces are good so far. Only thing that I had to check is the landing gear and also let's see uh, the motor. Let's motor crank armed. the motor a bit. Not bad actually. Yep, that's also in the correct direction. It seems like a bit of a torque there, so it's very nice. Turn the jet upside down by holding uh, both the pieces of main wings and the uh, uh, fuselage. And uh, already connected the landing gear uh, to the receiver. And uh, I'm going to test out the landing gear as well. So let me switch on the remote and connect the batteries okay let me deeper the landing gear everything seems to be okay Nothing loose. Let me turn it back. Yeah, everything seems to be all right. So uh, one thing I did was as soon as I turned upside down, I put these two plastic clips uh, to hold it. I haven't put the screws yet because I had to remove it if, in case there's a problem with the gear. So I just put uh, two plastic clips that comes with, uh, uh, with the kit and, uh, and that hold the main wings together. So which is very good. I didn't have to put any screws at all. Now the other most important thing is even though all the links are connected uh, to control surfaces, make sure that you check every one of them, even the screws attached to the main wheels, because I had a situation once that uh, when I took off, for the first time my main wheel came off, so we don't want that. So make sure that everything glued, uh, whatever already glued, just check, double check and make sure that everything is intact before you take your first flight. Okay, that's all folks for this video. I actually went a little bit further and did uh, a bit of connecting and testing it out as well. Um, so it all seems to be all right. So if you like my video, if, if it has helped you in any way, just give me a thumbs up and please stay tuned. I will have some more videos flying this jet. Thank you.